Hi guys, welcome to Pioneer Advanced Data Transplant Center. Uh, today we are going to discuss about top 5 reasons why you should not get transplant. So top 5 reasons why one should not get a hair transplant done we are going to discuss today. Uh, there are a few points we should consider why one should not go with uh, uh, hair transplantation procedure. So we will be discussing uh, most important uh, top 5 reasons. Number one is age less than 25 years. Uh, number two is diffuse pattern uh, hair loss. And number three is if you are a candidate expecting hair on the temples and uh, forehead, forehead area, frontal area. Fourth reason is uh, if you got a very poor donor quality, that is backside uh, donor hair, uh, you should not consider. Last and but not least, if you are a candidate, candidate expecting 100% density power from the transplantation, you should not consider the transplantation. These are the five major reasons you should not go with the transplant. Uh, number one is uh, basically age less than 25 years. We do not consider doing transplant because uh, further hair fall is a problem in those uh, patients. Imagine age 22 to 25, usually you will have a lot of hair loss and hair fall will be happening. So during those periods, if you, if you do the hair transplantation process, probably you will end up in uh, having a very failure hair transplant uh, procedure. And that is the first reason uh, we should always think about um, not to go with hair transplant. So minimum age we should consider is 25 and above. So that is the main reason for that. Most of the patients age 22, 23, 24 years, they'll approach us for the transplantation procedure. Basically, they don't understand the concept of the transplant because you should understand it when you uh, have complete hair fall is stopped, then only hair transplantation procedure will help you. So one should not consider age less than 25. That is the reason. So you have to speak to your doctor about uh, uh, medication to stop the further hair fall. Then if you're not going for transplant, what you can do is Maybe you can consider taking PRP injections or you can consider taking uh, medications. Uh, well, uh, number two reason is a diffuse pattern hair loss. One should not go with the transplantation. Diffuse pattern is, it's not complete bald. You got thinning hair all over the scalp. And when you do implantation, you will be losing more hair there and you will be losing more uh, uh, you will be having more hair loss after the transplantation would end up in again having a very failure transplant or a very bad outcome. So diffuse pattern guys can consider going with the PRP rather hair transplant. Uh, details about your diffuse pattern case you speak to your doctor and uh, get the better information about it. So most of the diffuse pattern cases what happens is throughout the scalp each and every follicle each and every shaft is getting thinner. So they are the not good candidates for uh, going for the hair transplantation. So hair transplantation is useful only when you got a very thick hair in the back and there is no hair in the front, completely baldness. This diffuse pattern, each and every follicle having on your scalp become thinner, thinner and thinner and you cannot implant any more hair there. And even if you implant it, you would not get very good density and uh, good outcome from the hair transplant. Uh, number three uh, important uh, reason not to go for hair transplant is if you are a candidate expecting hair on the temple angles that is the corners and even in the forehead area so I, I don't recommend transplant for you and it doesn't look good because the temple angle is actually 
triple dimension factor you going to get here if you can implant here uh, hairs there probably this angulations will neither match to this sun side and front side so you cannot able to implant a very natural way and you will be wasting a lot of grafts there which looks really awkward after the transplantation so one should not consider doing a hair transplant in the corners or temple angles our second uh, reason is if you implant your hair very front on the forehead probably that looks definitely weird hair transplant and bad outcome also and you are wasting more grafts there also another point is imagine you are implanting the grafts in the scalp area we make around 15 to 20 degrees angulation that looks very natural when you supposed to bring it down under the forehead same 15 degree angulation becomes 80 or 90 degrees which is very perpendicular manner then someone look from the uh, even the mirror even someone look at your hair, hairline that looks really awkward and anybody can easily make out it's a transplantation has been done that's because of the extreme extension or extending down the hairline gives that illusion like a doll appearance one should not think about getting a hair transplant done on the forehead and temples this is the reason and another point is you will be requiring one centimeter down if you can draw the hairline which extends to temple angles almost requires more than 500 to 600 extra grafts having 500 to 600 extra grafts actually makes sense to implant in the back so consider wisely remember one point your donor area donor hair number is always limited and constant no way you're going to increase the number of the follicles by doing hair transplant done this hair transplantation only we are taking it from the back side and implanting it you should be knowing how wisely you're supposed to implant the grafts which better angle if you unnecessarily bring it down rather not getting good results it looks very bad and awkward it happens to see hundreds of cases in my practice about uh, this uh, uh, wrong angulations and wrong placement of the hairline basically the hair transplantation go failure just because of not only wrong transplant wrong placement also wrong design also having done hair transplant in the frontal hairline and the temple angles definitely a wrong choice and it's not a good one to go with a hair transplantation procedure Hello, uh, I had uh, underwent a hair transplant uh, two years back in a different clinic but there uh, you can see that the hairline is very unnatural, it's looking like very unnatural like a linear line. So uh, I would suggest everyone that uh, whoever wants uh, getting a hair, splant, hair transplant please don't get your hairline downwards because uh, hairline getting downward is very difficult, you need more grafts than the natural. And also, uh, in future, if you lose little hair, then there will be a different uh, transplant front and back. So you will have a gap in the middle. So I would, uh, I would suggest everyone, uh, before going to hair transplant, you can suggest, ask the doctor that uh, 
in the hair transplant, uh, there is a, actually a calculation. You can ask uh, Sridhar Reddy sir. Actually, when I just started in the uh, when I came for his consultation, he explained it very beautifully. Number four is the do, uh, donor quality is poor. If you have a very poor donor quality, you should not go with uh, transplantation. The poor donor quality means probably if you see with your naked eye, sometimes you will not understand it is a good quality or poor quality. There is a three parameters uh, we should look into. Um, the photo looks great sometimes, but uh, you got a very cheating donor when you observe it very clearly, you don't have a good uh, donor quality there. Uh, usually what we do is we observe Number one is how many grafts that are located that are present in one given square centimeter is one parameter. Parameter two, what is the number of follicles each graft do your do your donor have it? That is number two. Number three is what is the uh, thickness of the each shaft, each follicle? So all these three parameters, uh, one important step. Another parameter is what is the donor area? That means scalp dimensions in the back. You got a very big scalp or small scalp which decides your uh, donor uh, quality quantity also. So one reason is quality, second reason is quantity. So quality means again this thickness, how many follicles are there in graft, what are the number of grafts present in one given square centimeter. These are the parameters which can help you to get quality and quantity grafts. So donor quality depends on all these four parameters you should consider. That parameter is probably being a patient you cannot understand it because the photo looks same for everyone and I'll be showing even one cheating donor. Cheating donor means you got a very good for the photos when you open it and examine it, you got a very thin uh, uh, quality grafts. These are the uh, reasons to avoid hair transplant. So if you got a very poor donor which cannot supply to the demand implanting all this cap imagine you are in a class 6 class 7 baldness donor is very less for even once or two sessions so kindly do avoid the transplantation process you talk to your doctor your donor is quality is best or not which can help you better to decide to go with the transplant or not so poor donor quality overall we can say you are not a good candidate to go with uh, transplantation Reason number five, uh, it's the last one but not least, you should be knowing it. This is the reason if you are a man expecting 100% density with a hair transplantation procedure, absolutely don't go with the transplantation procedure. Most of the clinics would not tell you this. This is a fact because if you are expecting 100% density with a hair transplantation, which is absolutely not possible because remember transplantation is only a process. You are taking the hair from the backside which is already you are bald, uh, only left with 30-40% of the hair that you are going to take and implant in the front. You cannot expect 100% density at all. You can get somewhere threshold density. Threshold density maybe around you know, 50-60% can help you to bring down, uh, bring the illusion that you look like 100% density. A lot many other factors like your hair texture, your scalp size, a lot many other factors are there to um, cover your uh, scalp. And remember hair transplant is a camouflaging technique. It's not a substitute for last hair or original hair. So this camouflaging technique would help you to bring the uh, reasonable change, optimum decent coverage to your scalp which is reasonable to think about for transplantation.